<laughs> Sonic. Onward to Act 2. And I definitely like Act 2's music more than Act 1. And I already like Act 1 a lot, so you know. Automatically means this is gonna be really good. Oh, we gotta pick one of these on the left to right to lower it. And you know, even though I just said earlier how fire shield was so useful, I'd still probably take a, like a lightning shield over it, because you know, because it's so useful. All useful all the time. And I don't hate these so much, but I'm really nervous in these lifts or whatever, because I'm always really afraid I'm gonna get squashed, because that has happened to me many times in the past. It's pretty easy to do so. But you know, they're not too hard to deal with, you know, if you're not retarded. And I could go that way, but that way's harder. I'd rather I'd rather go this way. This way is more cool stuff to show off as well. Yeah, there's no way to get over that really. Oh well. And these lifts go upwards as well, and they still make me nervous, even though it's a lot easier to get off of them when they're going up. But whatever. Anyways, this way has a uh, not here, but. Uh, this thing is, looks like an enemy, but it's just a crane, it grabs you, it's not really, confused me when I was a kid, it's not a bad thing, whatever. I guess it kind of, kind of a bad thing, it drops you in fucking, a bunch of mines, what an asshole, I don't realize that. Anyways, oh, I want to go up here. Carry me, slave fox! Can't believe I missed those platforms, but, uh, stupid ass tails carry me. Thank you, I'm done with you, go away. Ah. <sighs> Look at this. Look how fucking useless this guy is when I have my shield. He can't do shit. It's ridiculous. Sorry, Blaster. You are ridiculous. And god, I love this section so much. You just go so fucking fast. One of the fastest parts of the whole game. Just Jesus Christ. Oh, There's like fucking 15 seconds of autopilot right there. It's pretty great. And invincible. I always take invincibility without complaining. It's really useful in this zone. Not have a way out fire, this guy. <laughs> Fucking bullets still bounce off of me, which is nice. And, you know, if I wanted to, I could just push up against these spikes. You know, I'm gonna just fight whatever the fuck I want. Ah. Anyways, mm, not entirely. Let's see these techno squeaks. They're not so bad. See, they just kind of run around on the ceiling and the walls. Like, I don't understand how they're such a real, like, a threat. I mean, I'm never gonna fucking get hit by that. I could have jumped over this, but I'd rather show you the way you're supposed to be. Just wait until this is at the top. Then you climb over here, and then you stand up and take it back down. Then you go over here and do the same thing. But it's a little different this time, because you have to get into this little corridor right here. Another one of these guys, not so bad. Now, I don't know, I'm not... I don't know why they have this section so much, practically, where you have to take one of these stupid little handles down. I don't know. It was okay the first time, but you have to do it like three or four times. It's really fucking annoying. Whatever. It's not a big deal. I'm just trying to find anything I can't complain about. I like in the background, if you just saw back there real quickly, you could see the uh, capsules. And coming up right here is a boss. A boss so pathetic that I've not even given him the proper boss theme song. Thank you, Division Post, for sending that in. But seriously, this guy is so awful. It's just... Imagine the boss of Wing Fortress Zone, if there weren't any spiky platforms, and you didn't have to hit the thing, and it didn't move when it was firing the laser. It's awful. It just, you just let it do this over and over. And over and over. It's... I can't believe... I don't... I refuse to believe there's anyone out there who ever died to this boss. I mean, it's so easy. It's just ridiculous. Look at this. You think it would get harder when the little arena got smaller, but it doesn't at all. In fact, it's even easier to avoid. Seriously. Luckily, it doesn't get any smaller than that, and it just kind of blows up and Robotnik runs away. And then there's one of these sections which everyone hates, where the floor starts chasing you, I guess. But unfortunately, I'm so good at this that you don't even really get to see it chasing me at all, because I kind of get to the end a little fast. See, normally this would be like hectic or scary or something, but I just have to sit here and wait for it, because you actually do need it, the platform to carry you upwards. There we go. I don't know, usually I don't do that fast, but I'm really good at these sections, because I was really kind of scared of them as a kid, so I just learned to be really good at them, so I don't have to be. And anyways, if this gets sufficiently high enough, 
be facing a real boss. Ah. Now this boss, he's not too bad. I mean, for Sonic he's pretty easy, but for Knuckles he's really hard. I mean, he's so goddamn hard. And it just takes forever. Unlike Sonic though, where it's, you know, it's pretty short, you know. It's pretty simple. You'd think it's gonna take a long time, then it just fizzles out after, you know, just a couple minutes or so. So yeah, basically, for Knuckles he's long and hard, and for Sonic he's short and unsatisfying. But seriously, this boss is pretty simple. I mean, all you have to do is stand on one side and wait for him to do this. I like this little pseudo 3D effect it does right here where he's spinning around the little beam. It's pretty cool. It actually does take quite a while, but, you know, what are you gonna do? It's not too... at least it's kind of fun. You have to pay attention and... uh-oh. Luckily. You get pretty lucky right there. Luckily. And it's over. Thank god, I was really running out of material. But... I still like this zone, it's a good zone overall. This gets Cyber Shell seal of approval. Thumbs up. Thumb waggling. At this zone. I do like the ending sequence where Sonic just breaks out of the plane for no reason, it's pretty great. So, I'll see you all in the Sandopolis zone. <laughs>